under Ben Bowden. Swear by what the sages spoke round the Mariotic Lake, that the witch of Atlas knew spoke and set the cocks of crow. Swear by those horsemen, by those women, complexion and form prove superhuman, that pale long-visaged company, that air in immortality, of their passions won. Now they ride the wintry dawn, where Ben Baldwin sets the scene. Here's the gist of what they do. Many times, man lives and dies between his two eternities, that of race and that of soul. The ancient island knew it all. Whether man die in his bed, or wife and not him dead. A brief parting from those dear, the worst man has to fear. Though grave diggers toil is long, sharp their spades, their muscles strong, they but thrust their buried men back in the human mind again. You that Mitchell's prayer have heard, send war in our time, O Lord. Know that when all words are said, and a man is fighting mad, something drops from eyes long blind, he completes his partial mind, for an instant stands at ease, laughs aloud, his heart at peace. Even the wisest man grows tense with some sort of violence before he can accomplish fate, know his work, or choose his mate. Poet and sculptor do the work, nor let the modish painter shirk what his great forefathers did. Bring the soul of man to God, make him fill the cradles right. Measurement began our might. Forms, a stark Egyptian thought, forms that gentler Phidias wrought. Michelangelo left a proof on the Sistine Chapel roof, where but half-awakened Adam can disturb globe-trotting Madam till her bowels are in heat. Proof that there's a purpose set before the secret working mind. Profane perfection of mankind. Quattrocento put in paint on background for a god or saint, gardens where a soul's at ease, where everything that meets the eye, flowers and grass and cloudless sky, resemble forms that are or seem when sleepers wake and yet still dream, and when it's vanished still declare with only bed and bedstead bare that heavens had opened. Gyres run on. When that greater dream had gone, Calvert and Wilson, Blake and Claude, prepared a rest for the people of God. Palmer's phrase, but after that, confusion fell upon our thought. Irish poets, learn your trade. Sing whatever is well made. Scorn the sort now growing up, all out of shape from toe to top. Their unremembering hearts and heads, base-born colors and base beds. Sing the peasantry and then hard-riding country gentlemen, the holiness of monks and after, porter drinkers' brandy laughter. Sing the lords and ladies gay that were beaten into the clay through seven heroic centuries. Cast your mind on other days, that we in coming days may be still the indomitable Irishry. Under there Ben Bulban's head, in Drumcliff Church, Yates is laid. An ancestor was left him long years ago. A church stands in By the road, an ancient cross. No marble, no conventional place. On limestone quarried near the spot, by his command, these words are cut. Cast a cold eye on life, on death, or spirit. Ask Barnes.